Yo, what's up, Hosh fam? Uh, so today, today I kind of want to talk to you guys about Metal.TV. It's what I use to record all my clips off Instagram uh, or just to show some buddies and stuff like that. Um, it's really helped me out as a streamer because you can download it on your computer and download it on your phone. And it's so easy to upload to Instagram and other you know websites like that that you want to share your gameplay. So uh, what you want to go to is Metal.TV, which I'll put in the description below in the video. Um, but yeah, so you can so you can use this. You can you know sign up, download the uh, download it. And once you do that, you get this um, the desktop version of it, um, or the downloaded version of it, which is what, what you're seeing right here. Um, on here is just kind of the main page. Um, so you can see clips that are kind of, um, people have shared or upvoted. That's what this is, upvote. So when you upvote it, I, mean, I think it reaches more people like that. You can follow other people, um, show, show some love, see how many people have viewed this. Just to play this, you can turn on sound, turn off sound. It's pretty fun. So this is kind of the home screen. It's uh, pretty nice, easy to use. Bunch of different clips, bunch of different games, kind of what you like. Um, but how to kind of get started with this is you're gonna want to, first thing you want to do is kind of go to settings over here. Just set up your account on the left here, any description you want to use, anything like that. And then when you go to recording over here, uh, you can set what set, uh, resolution, FPS, all that stuff that you need to for each video. If you want it to fit your screen, that sort of thing. Uh, maximize clip performance. This is super cool, something handy to use. You can customize all kinds of stuff over here uh, for your gameplay. Um, what kind of was hard for me to do here was audio and devices. Um, that it really could help for me, someone telling me how to do this is using uh, selecting which microphone you want your clip if you wanted to pick up your audio or nothing. Because uh, if you don't want if you don't want anything for your clips, then you can just turn it off right here. Super easy to use. Select which microphone you want it to use, which is the Yeti microphone that I'm using right now. Um, and then uh, you can turn on game audio only. It's um it's a new feature I think they just added just a little while ago, but. Uh, it, uh, like it says, no Discord, no background music, no notifications. It's sweet. It's just gameplay audio, um, which is super cool. So you could just do gameplay for that. There's also camera overlay. So you could turn on your camera for these clips and it'll just record it while you're doing it stuff. And then when you save the video, it's it's your camera inside the video too, uh, which I didn't know. It um, was super helpful for someone to uh, go over that with me. Uh, one of the biggest things here though is key the keyboard hockey. Um, you can set for controllers, game switch, mouse, uh, keyboard whatever works for you uh, but I think what's super important here to note is that I, I have mine set for the numpad star which I'll show you guys how that works here in just a second um, but it's super easy to use. So all I do is just click that and for whatever I set it to it'll record however however long like the last two minutes 60 seconds 30 seconds whatever you set it to uh, which is awesome uh, but I also disabled all of these other hockeys so what I what I was actually doing is um I would have this like set for something on my controller and I would accidentally like um, record gameplay off of my controller versus just using this one thing. So I think it's important to uh, disable these if you can. Um, all you have to do is just right click, disable controller input, stuff like that. And you can always re-enable it too, just coming into settings. Um, games, these are just games here that you have. You can add games that you wanna record. Um, uh, general, you can turn it to, turn it to start up automatically. Um, I, it's not something that I like to use, but uh, it's it's really good. Automatically focus, automatically focus metal. Um, sh it just shows metal when you finish exiting the game and all that jazz, which is super handy. Um, uh, but if you go over here to your library, you can see all the clips that you've uh, you're ready to publish, but you haven't looked over. So like I have eight clips here from It Takes You that I've been playing with my girlfriend, um, and one of these you know I've seen I've seen like this one right here. So if I wanted to watch this, oh so cute. You can hear me in the background and the gameplay right there. And there's no camera in there because I didn't set that for that. But what's really cool about this is if you click more options, edit and share. So I'm actually gonna mute the video real quick for that. But you can um, you can title the video right here. You can add people if there's certain people in here or add hashtags. I don't really worry about hashtags right now because I'm not really looking to grow off of metal, but more off of Instagram for me. Uh, but you can edit the clip up here, which is what I um, really helps out. And you can use music. You can add in music that they have. You can connect an account if you have it with SoundCloud, or you can just skip. They have an actually pretty decent library right here that you can see. So if I wanted to just add in, let's go drum and bass, and I just click this one.
and I just want to add that in. So if you guys can see that there, um, now it's not added in at all. But I can plus this, and what I would want to do is I want to save edits up here in the right, if you see this over here. Um, but you can add in music to all your clips. Um, you can do it behind the back of the game sound. You can turn off the game sound when you record your clip, which is super cool. You can add in text here. Uh, I don't do this very often, um, but it's super cool if you want to add just in some fun stuff here. If you just want to type, yo, hello, well, not that. Uh, <laughs> like hello and I could just put that anywhere I wanted to um, which is super I mean super nice um, you can rotate it make it bigger move it around that kind of thing um, it's super helpful to use um, which which is nice and you can like you can select how long you want it to be in there in the clip so I could just put it in from like a certain time period or anything like that which is awesome uh, but yeah so that's that's a big um, kind of overview so this um so now we're back here at the account tab here and you can put out your information, your bio, upload your picture, um, your banner here, which is super nice. Set up your account. Uh, you can connect accounts here, uh, streamer mode, mute all incoming notifications and chats, and you can restrict DMs. Uh, that's that's kind of cool. So if you're streaming off of this or off something else, you can turn that on so you don't get any incoming things like that. You can turn enable messaging or disable that. Just like that I means super easy status. And then you can also send, um, if you have the uh, mobile app, you can send a login code and connect that. Um, but you don't need to actually. Um, you can just download the app and lo log in there too. And everything you've uploaded on here for your videos, you have access to on your phone too. Um, so I'm going to kind of show you guys just how to uh, record a clip real fast. Um, so I'm just going to be here in my library. So if you go, actually, I'm going to pull up. Um, I got Star Wars here, so I'm just playing this game. And my what my key my, my keypad my, my or my hotkey to record a clip was the asterisk and the numpad. So I'm just going. I don't know if you guys heard that. You're like a little ding notification sort of thing. That means I just clip something from from in game. Uh, you do have to be in game to clip, as far as I know. So I just make sure you're doing that. You can't just practice a clip outside of that. Uh, but if you come here, um, and you, and, and if we just recorded this, right? So game out of focus video unavailable. So it's gonna. It, I have it set for just the last minute here, but it records the last bit of this, right? That. If I wanted to publish this video, like upload this one specifically, so I do all my editing and all that jazz, I can just upload videos here, upload from library, and I'm just gonna cl click the video that I want to. Oh, oops! Click the video that I want to upload, right there. So I got that. I've uploaded 109 clips untitled. These are the ones that I have right here that aren't titled, uh, that I haven't uploaded yet. Um, and then you can choose it here. You can delete one clip. So super easy and group all together just to delete a bunch if you didn't mean to, or you can upload the clip and you can just public or unlisted. It's your choice and then continue to upload. And the last thing I want to show you guys is, um, if you go under settings back down here in recorder, uh, what I mentioned here is resolution, the FPS, the bit rate, all that jazz. But the length here is super important. You can record up to 10 minutes of your gameplay previously, uh, which is a super cool feature. 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 45 seconds. You know, I always I always do a minute because, um, like I said, these, these clips are usually for Instagram for me. Um, so to keep it that short clip, that short video length for them, I just keep it at a minute. And if I have less of a like I don't need the full minute there. You can edit that out in the clips like I showed you before. Um, but yeah, so I hope this guy, this uh, this guide and tutorial to help to how to use metal really helps you guys out. Uh, if you like the video, um, like the video. And feel free to comment down below if you guys want to see more videos like this. And make sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Thanks, guys.